go from Leeds. For those curious about the origins of my exotic stage name, you probably shouldn't be. I um, do poetry, the failed stand-up comedian's final meal ticket. Like uh, many struggling performers, I've taken on a range of soul-crushing office work in order to fund my artistic pretensions. For example, I spent six months promoting canals. <laughs> Believe it or not, the British media are not that interested in the canal system, except in one very specific instance, when you're selling in a, in a story about invasive species on the canals, which the Daily Mail can spin into a thinly veiled metaphor about immigration. <laughs> I didn't learn much when I was there, but I did learn one thing. Our canals are a uniquely conflicted beast. All beauty and horror rolled into one towpath-based package. This poem is called British Waterways. <laughs> Lovely for dog walking. Bloated dead dog, floating. Ducks and ducklings swim by. Nest of scrap metal. Thriving flora. Japanese knotweed annihilates local gardens. <laughs> Cruising gracefully. Unwatched kid drowns in lock. <laughs> Rare mammal spotted. Concrete landscaped waterside development. Idyllic life, bobbing gently. Jogger murdered at dusk. <laughs> Peace and quiet. Man in Mac wanking. <laughs> I did a gig in Newcastle recently and after I'd been on, a guy came up to me and said that he'd worked for 20 years on the canals and in his time, he'd seen every single thing I'd listed in that poem. <laughs> you're not just getting verse from me, ladies and gentlemen, you're getting facts. Another supplementary career I've been considering, crime. <laughs> Problem with that, I never bring the right tools to practical circumstances, which I think will probably hold me back in that field, and in, indeed, this entirely true story does attest. This is called an easy mistake to make. CCTV captured everything. Turns out, pistachio pieces did not disguise features. <laughs> Cashier, unfazed, licked my face. Cops let me off after having a go with the remaining honey residue. The day I tried to rob a bank in a baklava. <laughs> Turkish sweetmeat fans in the house. <laughs> My kind of audience. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing a show called Gary Baldy at the GM Fringe. Uh, it's on on the 9th and 10th of July at Gulliver's. It'd be great if you'd turn up, it's free. That's another incentive. And I'm doing Edinburgh uh, 6th to 27th of July in the shit room of a nightclub near a load of strip clubs. So good luck to me. Um, I'm in Guy from Leeds, you've been lovely, thanks. <laughs>